Hi, back again with another quick review. Uh, today we're looking at the Liang gimbal support. Uh, it's a V9. Now what I've got here is a, a just a demo, so we'll have a quick look at it uh, to see what we can see. It works uh, by having two brackets which actually mount onto the gimbal. So I've got the, the K Margo here, so I'll mount the other one on there in a minute, but that's the, uh, the mount there that locks on. Uh, comes with the Allen key to, uh, to put it on. And it then comes with two shafts that are split in two. So we've got the base there with a, a connection that goes on. And then we have the, the top section here with a strap that connects on to here, like so. Now this uh, takes a payload of up to 11 kilos, 4 to 11 kilos, uh, which is plenty for the Argo and I'm sure some bigger gimbals. So there's the other, the other side. Let's just connect one of these together. So there are two small screws there that we screw out. We mount that in and find the, the holes. And screw those up and that's it. All right, so that's the whole thing, fairly long and that bends over to support the gimbal. So here's the vest. So we can see here we've got a fairly solid lumbar support there that comes around. There are straps to go around the waist now. It says it uh, reaches uh, around 130 centimetre waist which is fairly sizable. I'm 110 and I'm not small. Uh, I find the straps don't, could, could be longer, but um, when we actually mount the, uh, uh, the shaft into the back of the vest, that just runs down there, there's steel reinforcing there, uh, and that goes up and over the shoulder. So we'll see in a minute how that all fits together. So we've got side uh, clips there, and the waist, uh, so that all fits on, uh, feels fairly secure. Um, let's have a look and see uh, what it looks like when it's on and how it holds the gimbal. Okay, this is the rig set up. Maybe not something for indoor use, but let's uh, put it on and see what happens. Okay, now the straps are barely long enough. Um, I can't see any way that that would fit 130 centimetres, but it barely fits mine. The Velcro needs to be, the strap needs to be longer so the Velcro connects under here. Um, but let's see what happens. So let's just clip these under here. Okay, that's our gimbal support. Now there is adjustment here so that we can bring it lower, lower or higher. That seems pretty good to me. We, you, you may be able to see at the back there, that's where it's taking the, the stress right here. So that needs to be nice and firm here and it's pulling on the stomach. That's it. Now I've had a little run around with it. Um, I think the only problem I find is that turning it that way, um, it does tend to, to pull a bit, but then if it's only there to take the weight when you need it to, there's no reason these can't be lower, I can take the weight 
and use it as I wish to use it. And then when I need a rest, I let it take the weight. That seems to me to be a reasonable way to use it. And then I've got full and uninhibited access of the, of the gimbal to do whatever I need to do. And it's simply there to take the weight. So that's all I can tell you so far. I might try and take it out and have a bit of a play with it when I get the chance. Okay, here we are with the K Margo and the Liang vest. Um, and we can see that that's uh, working pretty well. We'll actually start recording. Now, if I let that go, I can already feel a strain on my back. Uh, and I've only just put it on. So taking the weight, hopefully that, uh, that helps. Let's see if we can just do a bit of a, a quick walk around and see what happens. Okay, all right, that's, that's hurting my back. Uh, I don't know what's wrong here. I really feel that's quite a strain on my back, better, more than just holding the gimbal on its own. Uh, 